Local health experts are seeing many more heat-related illnesses. Dr. Ralph Riviello of University Health says rising temperatures lead to heat stroke and exhaustion. Metro Health has received 60 cases of heat exhaustion and one heat stroke this year compared to 34 last year at this time. The Texas Department of Family and Protective Services, which oversees Child Protective Services, is moving forward with investigations into parents of transgender children who seek gender-affirming care. The Texas Supreme Court recently granted clearance to continue those investigations. And some Texas school districts shortening school weeks to only four days for the upcoming school year. Three districts have made the switch following the COVID pandemic.